Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the easiest thing, choosing my favorite Call of Duty game. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was having like a mental breakdown. Like, I've played Call of Duty for such a long time, but I couldn't figure out, like, clearly, which game is my favorite. My first thought was Call of Duty 4, since that's the game I started with. But the thing with that game is, it, it's like, if you go on PC, all servers, pretty much all servers that are alive, a hardcore, and I'm not much of a hardcore guy. Like, I think hardcore is pretty annoying, if anything, and I just don't play it. The only reason I knew he was there is because I heard him say something. So the next best option seems obvious. What, Call of Duty 4, but remastered. And honestly, I really did enjoy that game. Like, I played it a bunch on my PlayStation 4. But the truth is, I don't play on the console anymore. I play on PC. I forgot you could get up there. I completely forgot you could get up there. And on PC, that game is just completely dead. Like, I'm not even joking. It feels like ever since, like, uh, H2M came out, you know, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, people just completely stopped giving a shit about the actual base game. And I've got to check up on how uh, H2M is also doing. What are you doing? Hiding back there. But yeah, and whenever I do try to install and play that game, like the vanilla game, uh, it just does not work. I, I end up playing like with bots or something and I get a triple nuke. But obviously that's not fun, so you know, I don't really play it that much. So the next game on my list was possibly Black Ops 2. I mean, it's a bunch of people's favorite game. And I also played on my PS3 a whole bunch. So, you know, it also has a special place in my heart. I remember playing zombies with friends, the campaign. Like, I, I think I finished the campaign like three times because I tried to get a bunch of endings and like achievements. And the multiplayer was just on points. Like, I was having so much fun with that. I had my favorite weapons and just my strat for leveling up and everything. But like, I don't know. I never get the itch to play Black Ops 2 or anything. Like, it's fun when I do pick it up and I do like remind myself that this game does exist. I'm not going in there. F that. So I decided to really dig deep. Like, I, th I was thinking of which game that I really put the most time into on my PC. Like, if, if I was going to look at my hours and just... But with that, decide what game to play, what game is my favorite, then I think I would choose Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Yeah, there you go, payback. Well, I'm more like Avenger, but still, got him. Now, I did play Modern Warfare 2019 a whole bunch, I'm not gonna lie here. And it almost feels weird to, like, give praise to a recent Call of Duty game. MW 2019 and Black Ops Cold War are, like, tied for my favorite recent game. 2019 was the last, like, Call of Duty game that I was truly hyped for. Like, I really mean trying my best to uh, see every leak, just really looking forward to every next trailer, every little bit of information or even gameplay that they have. Like, I was so excited for that game, man. And it was the last game that I could really say I was super hyped for. It was the last Call of Duty game that I was hyped for and I couldn't wait to check out. But if not like the skill-based matchmaking, I would probably put Modern Warfare 2019 in like my top three Call of Duty games. No joke. I like the maps, I like the weapons, I like the atmosphere, because it seemed unique at the time. But then every next game was just a clone of that game because it was so successful. But no. That also, not that that game, I just couldn't put it in my top spot. It's not my favorite game from the Call of Duty franchise, hell no. So I was like, you know what, a game that I genuinely really like coming back to is Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Hell no. Nah. Going down, doggy. Going on a doggy streak, hell yeah. Hey, got him. I'm still getting shot at, but I still got him. Ooh, he didn't see me. He didn't see me. Let's go. Okay, I'm just invisible to these guys for some reason. I mean, I'm all for it, but still. <laughs> Black Ops 1 just has that vibe. It has that feel. It has those memories, that nostalgia, but also that simplicity and that fun aspect that I just can't really describe. Holy shit, that's a lot. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Ugh, that match wasn't as bad as the last one. But that's because I was like so distracted with like giving commentary. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I really like every map in Black Ops 1. Most weapons in Black Ops 1. The campaign. The zombies are just too iconic. I started with Black Ops 1 zombies. Like, I feel like everything in this game feels so top-notch. It feels so fun, like deliberate, great, well-made. And it's just everything was made to make that fun factor as, as as good as it can be. Even when I don't perform in this game, I have fun. I smile, I laugh, I play, and I try to get better. 
Especially when there's cunts like that at Brand Corners. And also, you just cannot deny the impact this game has made. I mean, it was the first in the Black Ops series, for goodness sake. Probably the most beloved series in all of Call of Duty. Like, there was always a... Uh, a Black Ops versus Modern Warfare war in Call of Duty and war. Like, which which series is better? And usually Black Ops just comes out on top. It's more, more liked and I'm not hitting that guy. Okay, cool. And now, what's your favorite Call of Duty game? Please uh, leave a comment because I don't know how divided this fan base can be. Like, I, I post a video with the most hated in the title and there's like half the comment section is, wait, but this game is awesome. It's my favorite or I really like it or it's not that bad. So it's like really polarizing, but you know, kind of funny at the same time. But like, no matter if you're on one side of the fan base or on the other, it's clear to see, in my opinion at least, that Black Ops 1 is an incredible game and it's probably the best Call of Duty game, full stop. That's right, we peaked like 13 years ago or whenever this game came out. I'm gonna tell you right now, the first thing I realized when hopping back into this game after a long time it's how slow it feels, but like not in a bad way. Like it's not boring or anything. Like just the movement and everything just seems a bit slow, but that's because we're used to fucking maximum dopamine gameplay. <laughs> I mean, look at this shit happening in Black Ops 6. Jesus Christ. Ooh, try me, bitch. Neat. Okay, I actually really like the Galil. I like how satisfying it is with the. Oh, God damn it. With the silencer. Whoa! Try to flash me. Not unless I let you. I don't will. In fact, when it comes to just playing games in my spare time, Call of Duty recently, at least the newer games, aren't really in my cycle. <laughs> and right now, especially since I'm playing like a lot of adventure games like uh, The Witcher and God of War. But I still like play an FPS every now and again. Oh, fuck off. I saw that coming from a mile away. Okay, I like the Galil. I'm gonna keep playing with the Galil. When I am playing an FPS game, then it's probably gonna be X Defiant because I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got into that game. It's, it's quite fun. It's well made and no SBMM, it just feels so good, man. And you know this game is like really liked and really good when like three or four lobbies are li literally full. Which doesn't sound insane, I know, but for like a an old Call of Duty game on PC? On PC? That's an achievement and a goddamn half. Feels like Call of Duty is pretty much more popular on console, at least the older games. Because it feels like if you go on console, you'll just find a game regardless. No matter what time you're playing, no matter where you're playing from, you'll just find a game and you'll have your fun. Ooh, there's two of you. There is two of you. Okay, that somehow worked. I think in my Black Ops 1 video, the state of Black Ops 1, I did say that I really liked every detail about this game, like from the little pop-ups that uh, show up on your screen for a first blood or whatever assist to the graphical style to the setting to atmosphere everything like recently i've been thinking about like graphics in call of duty and how like it's possible that i'll think a call of duty game is better or at least more enjoyable because it has less graph uh, i mean less graphics worse graphics i mean first of all it's taking up way less space like i'm pretty sure downloading this game on pc with uh, the campaign and multiplayer, so, and it's probably including zombies. It's like nine gigabytes or something like that. Nine, and not like 190 or whatever the f the new game has. Okay, this is a more smaller map, so in theory there should be more action. Well, smaller, like mid-sized. By the way, for those that have Black Ops 6, uh, is there a firing range map? Because if there isn't, then you guys are missing out. Alright, got you, even though you're hiding like a little bitch. Nuh-uh, not my friend. Not my good old buddy, old pal. What the fuck are you doing up there? <laughs> That's the weirdest spot I've ever seen. Talk about an off angle. Holy shit, I'm, I'm good. Okay, I'm not that good actually. Is that last stand that I saw there? He's, oh, well, damn! Why does that, that guy... Like that little spot so much. Okay, he killed me from it, so that's one reason. And also, the game is literally feeding him by fucking spawning me right here. Like, that's something I'll never get in Call of Duty, like, or any game for that matter. If I die, then it would probably be smarter to not spawn me in front of that player so I can die to him again in the same spot. Because that is one way to make your players angry and rage quit from the fucking game. I thought about calling this video the best Call of Duty game, but like, that's super subjective. There are people out there that probably think Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare or Modern Warfare 2 2022 is the best game. Okay, you know, I'll have one match, one match, 
where I actually like sort of try. I've just been so hell-bent on talking, giving commentary, that I didn't really give much of a shit on what's actually happening on screen. Ooh, Kay! It's, why do you have to be so close? What happened there? Poor painting fell off. Okay, that one guy was bottlenecking my whole team. Lovely. Okay. I can get them from behind, hopefully. Nope, they expected all of it. What are you doing on the ground, sniffing the street? Ugh, smells like no pussy for you, my friend. Okay, these guys are really trying to take over this building. They are somewhere here. I just don't know where. In front of me, as always. Oh, jeez, Louise. Wah! He's trying to no-scope me. Hell nah. I'm not getting defamed like this. But these guys are on me. They are trying to kill the f out of me, man. How am I losing so bad? What the hell? Ooh, lucky nade. Hell yeah. I'm just better. I am simply better. No other way of putting it. I'm superior in every single way, including penis size. Okay. That was a good game for me, but I still messed up. Well, messed up. I had a good game. It's GG, I guess. So, in short, Call of Duty Black Ops is a game that has satisfying gameplay, the best maps in the series, fight me, the weapons are extremely memorable, and I just really like its style. I know that in this video I only really showed multiplayer gameplay, but I also love the campaign and zombies. In fact, if this video gets 50 likes, I'll record a zombies video. So thank you so much for watching until the end, like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for an extra inch in size, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay.